Hello, it's Amanda with Music Game Club, and I am excited for today's Magpie Melodies video. So we created this game with this certain play in mind. So if you notice, our cards are color coded, and that is because every single color coding card set is an actual song. They are familiar children's songs, and on the instructions we have them, red is Mary Had a Little Lamb. Orange is Ode to Joy. Yellow is London Bridge. The yellow green or light green is Are You Sleeping? Green is the Bridal Chorus. The blue is Hot Cross Buns. Indigo, Row, Row, Row Your Boat. And violet is Rain, Rain, Go Away. So we actually were asked to create a sight reading game where it's real music that the students have to put in order. So this game, it like doubles and triples as a bunch of fun games. So for this one, it can be played with just one student or could be played with up to eight students. So if you have just a few students, then you can separate the cards, give them each two colors, three colors, however it works out. And obviously some of these are easier than others. Here Comes the Bride would be the hardest one. There's a lot of eighth notes. I think Are You Sleeping is the other one with eighth notes. Other than that, Mary Has a Little Lamb, Hot Cross Buns, Ode to Joy, they're all really easy. So let's take this one, which is Hot Cross Buns. So it is kind of a sight reading game because they have to be able to figure out what order these go in. So they can play it if they need to, or if they're good at just looking at it and piecing it together, that'd be great. It starts with this card. So, you know, E, D, C, E, D, C, 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 D, 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 E, D, C. And there you go. You've got hot cross buns. So, like I said, this is where it's sight reading because whether or not the student actually plays it, or if they can just kind of do the pitches in their mind, like, oh, this walks down. So if you give them a starting pitch, do, 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 maybe they can figure it out that way, or they might can figure it out with the rhythms. And so they can start just by figuring out what the rhythms, and then they can figure out where the melody placement goes. Like I said, this could be something that you can work your students up with. So I probably would start with Hot Cross Buns, and then go to Mary Had a Little Lamb, or Ode to Joy. Um, rain, Rain, Go Away is another fairly easy one. So you can work your students through it, but if you have students who are like level two, maybe even level one students, throw it to them and just see what they do. And then they have to play it and see if what they did made sense. And if it didn't, then they have to go through, change it around and figure it out that way. So that's a big sight reading game that you could do. It's, you can kind of put them all in a group and race if you want to, or just figure out a way to make it exciting for them to figure out their melody, or you could just do it really calm and laid back, and it's sight reading, it's rhythm, and it's also fun. If you want a much smaller sight reading game, you can totally just do the gameplay where it's like normal, they pick a card, have to go to the piano and sight read it, and then on the game board, they move forward just like normal, so that was immediate, so they'd move forward three. And so that would be the easier way to do it. Or if you want to quiz your students, so let's say it's a student who struggles with sight reading. And part of sight reading is not just getting the pitches right, but also getting the rhythm right. So if your student needs extra help with that, then you can give them a card. They have to sight read it. They will get two points if they get accurate notes and two points if they get accurate rhythm. So for this one, they have to be sure to hold that dotted half note out for three beats. If they just do da, da, and then break like it's two rests, they lose two points for rhythm. And so this will be a really easy way to just kind of review their sight reading in short segments. That's a little less complicated, but they can work up to doing the whole piecing together the songs. That would be so much fun. I can't wait to hear how much fun your students have doing this. We hope you and your students enjoyed playing Magpie Melodies. Remember, you can send home the activity sheet that they can do to get extra practice. Also, celebrate with the success poster. If you post pictures online, please tag us at Music Game Club on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Have fun.